I'm going to pick three of these problems to do, and I'll pick the three that look the most complicated. So let me start with the one that I introduced to you in class, this one here. So all of the x coordinates move to this the, to become the y, the second part, but they also change signs. So they move to the y, but also change signs. The original y becomes the new x and doesn't change at all. So negative 4, negative 1, negative 4. Now I'll plot those. And it ends up right over there in quadrant 3. And if you look at where it came from, it was just a rotation that spun around like that. So it was a rotation. And rotations are rigid motions because they preserve distance and angle measure. How about the bottom one on page 13? This one, the x coordinate moves to the second position and becomes y and changes signs again. So these move to the second position, but then they all change signs. Zero obviously doesn't. Now, the y moves to the new x, becomes the first coordinate, gets doubled and changes the sign. So negative 2 doubled is negative 4, change the sign to positive 4. 1 doubled becomes 2, change the sign to negative 2. Negative 2 doubled becomes negative 4, change the sign to 4. Now I'll plot them. If you look closely, you can tell that it's bigger than it was before, but only one of the coordinates was doubled and the other one wasn't. So it's sort of like some sort of reflecty, rotation-y stretch. But because they were not proportionally doubled, I'm going to call it a stretch, which is not isometric. Now I'm going to tackle the first one on page 14. It's pretty complicated there. It's negative y minus 2 and then x plus 3. Let's see what happens there. So I'm going to take my x coordinate, move it to the second position, which is the new y, and add 3 to everything. So negative 3 moves here, but then I'm going to add 3, which makes it 0. Negative 2 moves here, but then I'm going to add 3. Negative 2 plus 3 is positive 1. 2 gets moved here, but then I add 3, and I end up with 5. So that's, that takes care of the, the x moving to the new y. Now I'm going to see if I can handle the y. The second coordinate, the original second coordinate, y, now moves to the first position, <clears throat> x. You take the opposite of it and then subtract 2. So the opposite of 1 is negative 1 subtract 2 and you get negative 3. The opposite of 4 is negative 4, subtract 2 and you get negative 6. The opposite of 1 is negative 1, subtract 2, you get negative 3. Now I'm going to plot it. Now this one, because we didn't multiply by anything other than a 1, we didn't double anything or triple anything, it's going to stay the same size. So it is a rigid motion, it's a nice symmetry, same exact size, and you can almost tell that it was just turned from here somehow. But it was turned because y and x are switched, but it was also translated because you subtracted 2 and added 3. So you could make an argument that this one was translated and rotated. But if you just put rotated because that's what you saw, that's okay too. I'm on a roll, so I'm going to do one more, the very last one, because it's a little weird looking too. X now becomes X and Y added together. So you add up the coordinates, and that becomes the new X. So 3 plus negative 2 is 1. 2 plus 1 is 3. Negative 2 plus negative 2 is negative 4. So that takes care of x. 
it wanted the new x to be x and y added together. Now, y is easy because it doesn't change. y stays y. So I copy those over and now I'll plot. Plot it, it comes out as an obtuse triangle. If you look at this one I'm coloring in, that's the new one. That's an obtuse triangle where the original, if you look at if we could get it out of the way, was an acute triangle. It's not even the same triangle anymore. So it's definitely not an isometry. It's not a rigid motion. And it's really, even though we added something, we only added it to one coordinate and not the other. So it really doesn't even have a transformation type. It was more an exercise in just following a rule. Now all the other ones are a little bit simpler, but make sure you have at least those perfect and you try all the others.